Hi, this is Bobby Klein. I'm the translator and the interpreter of the I Ching. This is a new earth I Ching, easy to understand, easy to put to use. It's an oracle, 3,000 years of wisdom wrapped up in this. So sit back, take a breath. If you've got a question in your mind, ask it. If not, just hang in and you'll get some answers. And that's what this is all about. The I Ching, they say, is the book of change, and it is, but it's also the book of answers. All right. Tune in. Drop in. You're home. Yeah. You're home. Island shore. Summer brings no answers. I will ask the sand. You know, just ain't that it sometimes. You go looking for answers, you know, and you go to the island, you go to the mountain, you go to the monastery, you go home. <laughs> You look back, you look ahead, but there is no answer. So, on the island shore, summer brings no answers. I will ask the sand. Thank you. All right. Take a breath. Back together again. I'm going to say I missed you, but I didn't. You were always here. <laughs> hey, you know who I'm talking to. <clears throat> it was nice meeting you, you know. You know, sometimes, man, we gotta, we got to open the doorway and let the witches in, man. Let the witches in. Yeah, all right. All right. Skies are clear, and I mean that. The skies in our mind are clear. We are in the time of clearing, man time to make it clear about what's up, what's happening, where are we at, what the is going on, huh? So what do we do? Well, you know, we ask the sand, and you know, we ask the seagulls, and we ask the waves, and, and then we say, all right, I'm going to go back to what the ancients were doing maybe 5,000 years ago, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to get that turtle shell out, and I'm going to see what cracks come up. And I'm going to ask the I Ching. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're going to ask the I Ching. That's what I did, you know, going through it. I go through, you know, just like that, man. It's just, you know, I might have, you know, rewritten this thing, but I'm, you know, I might have uh, translated it, but it doesn't mean I don't go through it, man. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Entered into a new yoga practice with a master, man. It feels really good. Like, all right, it's time, you know, time. So he asked the I Ching, what's up? Okay, what's up? We got number 15. Number 15. We get, it is kind, it is humbling. It is time, man. And when we are humbled, it lets us open up a lot of doors, and that sure happens. You know, you might just get by some way in the light bright of an incredible human being, and man, it's humbling, man. You know, and we look at what our work is, and then we look at the work of the universe, and we're humbled, and then we, you know, then we see this earth of ours, this little blue marble, you know, floating around the universe. Ye gads, <laughs> that's humbling, you know. And you know, and it doesn't even matter if there's other, you know, life beings and all that stuff are being watched. Of course, we're being watched, you know. And let me tell you, we don't look so good. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's uh, it, 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 we're coming to a certain place. You know what I wonder is, I wonder 
we are getting to a certain place. You're definitely fucking up in so many ways. Is some, you know, extraterrestrial or somebody from another planet going to bop down here and they're going to say, hey, 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 we got a better way. You don't have to be doing all that stuff, you guys. You know? And then would people listen? You know, imagine what if they just told everybody Everybody, every, they said, keep your borders, and that's okay, and, you know, keep doing business, but the only thing to add is to be kind, 100%, be kind, right? And they say, well, what do we do with the armies? Well, we kind of go in there, and, you know, if you want to volunteer and build bridges and, you know, clean up the planet. Anyway, that's humbling to me. That's where I went with that, Okay. All right, number 15. Above is Kuhn, center of the earth, and below is Jen, quiet mountain, unshakable and steady. Yeah, that's what we're going for. The wisdom, you've begun to recognize your goodness. And isn't that about time? You've begun to recognize your goodness, and it is good, and you know it. All right, so just don't puff up your ego. <laughs> Now open to gratitude. Be humble and modest. Uh huh. You know, the, the, the better it gets and the more you get and the more you make or the happier that you get or it's really happening and firing up on every cylinder, you know, that's the time to be modest, be humble. You know, you, you got a lot right now. You know, you got riches. You've, look, you've worked for this, okay? You got riches. You got riches and knowledge and spirit. You've done that. And that's the result of your tri- striving for inner truth. And now all of that will become part of you. And you can clear obstacles and know your position in life's wonder by being humble in the context of possessing such vital knowledge and spiritual insight, which is an incredible, powerful combination. Imagine, that's what you got. And, and that's just not a fantasy. That's it. I mean, it's the Ching's talking to you. You've done your work, see? And that's what you got. You just look, look, look in your, what you're doing, your career, your action, your relationships, your heart, your spirituality. Look to what you've accomplished, right? It's really good to shine, and it's necessary so that your light illuminates the truth for the other people to see, for your community. You're shining, you got it? And know that you will shine much brighter in humility than you will in ego expression. You know? You know, how about the, the, the cats and the... I'm about to say the word I shouldn't use. How about the men and the women who are just, you know, they got a lot, so they get blinged out. You know, come on. You know, that's not it. I mean, look, if you can afford the Ferrari, right, how cool it is. But be gentle, (laughs) you know, and maybe try to equal the cost of that Ferrari and put the same amount into helping people eat. You know, except that you're now of great influence. That's what this time is for you. You know, whether you got a lot of money, little money, you know, a lot of position, wherever you are in your tribe, you've got a lot of influence right now. Believe that. Believe it. And, and now, as an example, for your milieu, for your circle, it's humility. And this doesn't mean scraping and bowing, you know. Those who show themselves to be great are, in essence, exposing themselves. Danger ahead. In this coming cycle, live modestly and humbly, serving others, all others. Great teachers dismiss any claims of their greatness and point only to the kindness of their teachers and the blessings of the Creator. Consider that. Great teachers dismiss any claims of their greatness and point only to the kindness of their teachers and the blessings of the Creator. All right, 
you know, you're riding in, man, you got that, you got the beautiful, you know, you got that great horse that you're riding. Yeehaw, you know, pull up on the reins now. And look, you know, you got a lot of energy behind you to move forward, right? Um, and, and you can choose to really just blast out there. This is not the time. This is not the time to advance, right? Although there may be things that have been left hanging incomplete. Just leave them be for now. You know, it's uh, turn the outcome over to spirit right now. Really consider that. I know this is hard. It's going to be hard to let things go. And you're not really letting them go, but you're just going, whoa, trigger. You know, you're p- pulling back. Does anybody really get what I just said? It's really pulling back on the reins, right? And it's uh, um, just not blasting out in front and just l- turn the outcome over to spirit. It's safe, right? And it will remain that way during this cycle. All right, it's really important that we talk about this because we're in, we have different cycles. And in this cycle, that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about what was before or what's coming. It's what's happening right now, right? Your harvest to this point is curing, is aging, so that it will be supple and will be malleable to the efforts you will soon exert. All right. You got the picture? All right. Just let it, you know, what is it? What was that television show about aging, you know, ad that said aging wine, you know, let the wine age. But it's about that. It's about curing what you have so that it's going to be really uh, uh, um, easy for you to use it in what you're about to do. And it's not the time to do it. But hold on. The temptation, see, as you begin to see the plenitude of the harvest, which is right there, or to begin to distribute it, using it to gain favor and more riches, uh (laughs) uh-oh, that's it. You see, dig it. It's a a familiar song by the ego, you know, to to take you off out of your game, take you out of the present, right? It says, hey, man, look, we're going to be such good people. Look at us. We've got all this stuff. And you know, if we give it to the head of the head of the clan, they're going to dig us, you know, and that's going to be it. Wrong time, man. You know, your ego, that's your ego, trying to gain place by give, giving it away, right? And man, don't give yourself away. And that's in relationships, too. Do not give yourself away. And do not barter sex. All right, the river of abundance is here, okay? And it's coming. It's coming. It's flowing. So trust that the river of abundance is going to find you, and it will. You've set the processes in action, right? So let it be. You know, let things be. Take your inner discipline and self-love. That's what it takes to do that right now. To achieve this state of being, find yourself in stillness. So for this journey, you're coming into emptiness. Emptiness that you experience when you close your eyes in meditation. That's what this is about right now. It's about that. It's about moving into the the blank space, you know, coming into the place that is uh, a big, big blackboard in the sky. It's got nothing on it. Right? So you're coming into that place and, and you gotta trust it right now, right? You know, you're not lost. You're not lost. But you set things in action and and, and it's you you're not getting the results. You're not supposed to right now, right? You gotta use your inner discipline and your self love to keep still. And in stillness you can do it. As you move into the emptiness, you experience when you close your eyes in meditation, that's where you go. I hear people say, man, I meditate all the time. I don't ever get to that place where everybody is blank and they talk about you coming into that place where you don't hear anything. And I think, what am I going to do? Listen, stay with it. You know, you, it, once you keep knocking on that door in meditation, it, it's going to open. You know, be diligent. Penetrate into silence, penetrate into emptiness. And then 
you know, you get to that place where it's all empty. I know for me, I get into meditation and I do achieve that in that place. And then, and then my ego or monkey mind says, hey, man, look at you. You're in, the, you're in the empty place. And of course, I'm snapped back. But that's how it happens, right? Look, now is the time. It's a time of change and shift, right? So shift the way that you've been thinking. Not that your thinking has been wrong. You're just the opposite. You, you have thought and maybe overthought. The positive aspects of obstacles that you have handled in most of the situations, and you know you've done that well. Consider recent losses, losses of people, losses of things that made their exit or will do so soon. You know, you might see people on the verge of leaving, but don't worry about it, don't fret. Or you might have to dismiss ideas, thoughts, people, but this is going to free you up for a new way of being and new way of thinking. Look, that's what the information is coming at this time. And the I Ching counsels you a lot is when you're in it, what to do, how to do it. Right now it's saying, be quiet, dismiss what, who, and how don't work for you anymore. And this is the way that you remember who you are, who your authentic self is. Who is the real you? Please step up. The real you that's been waiting to be recognized and brought forward. Step out of the shadow. Yeah. You know, when you find that the way that you've been relating and doing things lately has brought you satisfaction, you know, it's in some areas of your life, it's really felt good. And, and then the tendency, of course, is to stick with these methods. At this time, in your process and what's going on on the earth, as anything repeated like this will soon become stale. So think about that. Things that have made you comfortable, um, that, you know, the same pattern, things that you've done, ways you've done things for yourself, fed yourself, other people. It's becoming stale. See what's become stale. And you notice it, and it happens especially in this time of dynamic change. It's like that great cheese that you're holding on to because you had it. You, know, you had it about three months ago, and you kept it because it tasted so good then. But, man, if you look at that cheese now, it's not a pretty picture. <laughs> but risk is the key now. Not the risk to eat the cheese, okay? Yeah. Risk is the key now. Take the risk of letting go of the way that you've gained what is yours now. All right. Be humble. Be moderate in your behavior. You know who I'm talking to. You got it. Moderation in all things is the key to transforming the heart and mind. You know, it's not time to move the mountain. It's time to move the rocks in the road, right? So you don't step on them. This is the key. This is the key to transforming your heart and mind. Bring your heart and mind together is rather what it is. Moving toward the greater good. We're all warriors called on at different times to be present, to be present in our lives and work for the greater good of all. And now is your time. This is the time. Clear your mind. Observe letting go of any preconceived notion about how things should be. There's that word. Well, it should be this way. You're not doing it. You should do it. Well, mm, right? This is not the time. Why? Because you don't know. Look, you don't know. You really do not know. <clears throat> and you got to realize that. So to have harvest ser serve you, you must make offerings to the higher powers, to the divine as this is what got you here in the first place, right? Remember all the things that you did to get where you are, where you were diligent about your diet, diligent about exercise, diligent about, you know, everything, you know, came with all that, right? And you've kind of let it go, right? So, so this is the time to bring it back. Those are the things that got you here. Those are the teachers that got you here. Start listening again to what they said. Start remembering, right? Listen to your spirit helpers. Just find silence. And then let your spirit teachers talk to you. Trust what you hear. Because they've been there for a long time. And, and it is because of a higher consciousness that is beyond the ego, right? 
it's the higher consciousness that you have any clarity at all. So it's there, you know, and now you're being called to greatness. Okay, don't let the ego. This is the time that you really are. You're being called to greatness. So you must find the still point, the place to be quiet. How you achieve such a state of quieting the mind is a matter of individual preference. However, you got to do it. You know, is it standing in the waterfall? Is it floating in the cenote? Is it meditating at the altar? Whatever it is. Most of us need some form of meditation. I think everybody does, really. Look, however simple it is, the state can also be attained by aligning with nature and communing with the elementals, right? Just let them come to you for a while. Let those little elementals come and work with you. The precise technique for finding your... Ah, oh, this is, you know... Look, don't worry about how you do it. Don't worry about you got to do this technique. you got to do that. You, everybody does it different. And trust what you're doing is right. It's not as important the way that you do it. It's the intention of what you're doing. The intention to remain inwardly still so that you can be receptive to the wisdom of your guides, of your teachers. We are a reflection of the divinity embodied by our guides and teachers, by the ones who have gone before us, right? They are there, and they are the ones who are really touching us, the ones that went before us, our teachers, or our teachers' teachers, right? Pay attention to them. Honor your teachers. Honor the teachers who are your, your teachers' teachers. You know, you find somebody that you really like what they say. And, you know, they might know, you might know them, they might be alive. You know. Look back. See who taught them. Where did they learn, right? It doesn't mean you don't listen to the ones who are talking. That's not the idea. But look at who were their teachers, right? Who were their teachers? And who were those teachers' teachers? Go back some generations, right? Oftentimes, we can attain success when we do attain success. Old patterns, they'll try to assert themselves in you know, old ways of being. And before you realize it, you can become caught up in the old ways. The knee-jerk fear is that we might lose what we've just gained, all right? That something well-deserved might be taken away or that we might be cheated. Hmm. This causes us to behave without compassion and without empathy for others. You know, it really is. You know, people, you ever notice how busy rich people are taking no time for themselves? You know, or, you know, very, very successful people, very few, you know, have worked it out to, to, to be still, to be quiet, to be in that place, very few. You know, and in, in, in your case, you know, if you've got a lot, just be sure you're finding humility in your stillness. If you got plenty, the same thing. If you just got some, just chill for a while. And yes, it's being grateful, absolutely. But if you get the if you get with that fear that something's going to be taken away from you, or you're you're going to be cheated, or 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 how about the thing of if you've just really done well and you've done what you did, and then you think, well, I did this, but I, are they going to find out I'm a fraud? <laughs> you know, e e even if that's there, just go to your still. Because fear will make us rigid. rigid. It, it, we act as if our way is the only correct way and staunchly refuse to open ourselves up to other possibilities, right? Oh, we got here this way and this is the way and we're going to do it. Oh, that's wrong. If you are in business, right, you get into, into the, the road of commerce. You can be cool in that place. Or if you're in a relationship with somebody who behaves in that manner, right? What happens is communication breaks down and the feeling of not being heard on both sides. That can lead to emptiness. That leads to stagnation. And it will blow apart a business. It will blow apart a relationship. It'll blow apart your relationship with the divine. Look, if you and someone else are acting in this way, right, into the rigidity, you just better wake up because wake up and wake up fast because there's a dynamic energy coming. And 
if you act in that way, it's going to make your relationship untenable, right? So without good communication and honesty, through self-imposed inner limitations, okay, you know that one? The way that you, that, that you impose limitations by quieting the ego and corralling self-importance, you'll be able to connect with the energy that pulses, that pulses from the core of the earth, from our mother, giving us her beating heart, filled with love and compassion and unselfish love. You see, it's out there, the great mother. No matter where we're at in the journey, we can be there that we're really there in a big way, struggling or just making it or just feeling a little shaky. The energy of the earth is there. You've got some spirits with you. And don't doubt that. Time to exercise. And, you know, even if you feel like you're out of the link, right, in some way, by exercising compassion and kindness in the face of the chaos that you fear around you, fear mongers, fear mongers, come around us at this time of the greatest challenges and precisely why we must seek our inner stillness because that way they got no chance of getting us walk and work with dignity keep your head high spine erect literally so you will receive the full dose of energy being transmitted to earth at this time entering through the soles of your feet or coming up through your sit bones your chakras coming in also coming in through the crown chakra above us, right? I mean, look, I just got out of this yoga class. It was like that. And it was, you know, I was being told by this teacher, it was wonderful. He said, you know, it's about keeping your spine erect. And, and now I translate that as in the life, it's a dignity. What's going on? Right now, what is available to us now is unprecedented in human existence, right? Because of this big shift that's going on, don't doubt it. You know, big change is happening around the world. And that means that a lot is available to us that has not been available before. So as we're shifting, know that what's available to us now has never been like this before. Light is coming at us at warp speed. We're in a dynamic of rapid change here on Earth. And don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Outer sources from other realms and other universes are coming, and they're assisting us if we choose to raise our collective consciousness. Got it? Remember I talked at the beginning about we're being watched, and I, too, I do believe that that's information coming to the planet right now. All you need to do to assist this process is to be humble, to achieve quietude, and let Earth's helpers and let the teachers transmit to you what is vital at this time. See, all the energy is out there. You know, if you just chill, come into that space, that empty space. And like I said, meditation, there are lots of great ways of meditation. Teachers, I teach meditation. And I don't say my way is the only way, because it's certainly not. But it's one way, and if people dig it, they do it. But you can also find other ways. You can make up your own. You know, you can make up your own meditation. And I think that's a great thing to do. You know, but let me tell you, whatever, however you do that, it is regularity, right? It's a deal that you find time to do it, and you do it with regularity. And that way it opens up a lot of doors, right? Same with prayer, same with going to the altar. Do it with regularity. Penetrate into the unknown, right? Just watch. Just watch. Watch and listen. There's a lot coming up now. And we have a lot to, to do. A lot, there's a lot to be accomplished uh, as a result of the influence of the higher realms, right? Because they're here. Look, they've always been here, right? But I think because all the work people are doing, more meditation, more yoga, more consciousness, that the higher realms are coming to us. And you can tap into that at will and feel healing coming through you so that all you touch and all those that you love will be enhanced simply by 
your humble presence. Get it? This is the lesson of Wu Wei. Wu Wei. Doing everything by doing nothing. That's Wu Wei. Doing everything by doing nothing. Nothing at all except to be in integrity and humility and have compassion and kindness. All right, this week, you know, this week, intoned by this hexagram, it's the beginning of an opening into a broad and vast, profound blue sky, which you can, by choice, and only by choice, walk into it and never look back. Walk into it. It's here. It's real. Just do it. Blessings here. This is the time to hold tight on the reins and taking ego-impelled action and love like you have never loved before, right? You let go of the ego and you let yourself love the way you've never loved before. You know, and, and open up that doorway. Don't be afraid. And if people don't hear it or don't see it or whatever it is, don't matter. Just be it. Because what is now unfolding here on, on earth has never occurred before. And you're part of it. Yeah, we're part of it. We're here now as witnesses to become part of this vast hologram of love. And that's what it's about. We are in the hologram of love. Now you can choose. You can choose this new earth as you can choose stillness and love. Not so bad. We're in this together. All right. Powerful message today. You know, my book, The New Earth I Ching, it's available in those you know, places on the internet you get books. And I really recommend it to ha have it with you. And you can just open the book, get a question, just open the book to the right page. Or if you want to get into, the, into one, of the, one of the ways of divination, cast the coins or learn about the yarrow sticks. But uh, the I Ching is magical. I, I think my book, I call it the New Earth I Ching because it's, the translation I translated it with some with some help with some friends and I uh, and some teachers and um, I, I I tried to say it interpret it in a way that it would be like, like in the reading today so easy for us to hear so I highly recommend it and uh, there's there's in, there's instructions inside some about my history there's a great forward by uh, Dr Mark Hyman. If you know anything about Dr. Hyman, look up some of his books about food and nutrition. And he is, he's got a, he has a clinic, the Cleveland Clinic, about food and the natural way to do things. Look into his work. He is, he's awesome. So, um, and, and he did the forward to the book, which was, you know, what an honor. What an honor that was. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mark. All right. So there we are. I know, I've been talking a long time today, but because I love you. <laughs> We're all in this together, don't forget that. So I say, in la kesha la kin, I am the other you. And I like it that way. Yes, I Namaste, y'all. Namaste, my sisters. I love you. Namaste, my brothers. I love you. Be kind to each other. Make love, not war. Treat sex as sacred, all right? Don't barter sex. Give love to your companions. Be extra nice to that kitty at home, man.
be extra nice to that dog who loves you so much. It's time for that. Tell the one you love that you love them. Don't forget.